Ooh, another week, another vlog. Hey, peoples. Cody here. And I know I haven't done a lot of gaming collection videos in a while. I just want to say the reason for that is because it's dry out there. It's very dry. I've been still going to the same Goodwills and Salvation Armies and stuff and turning up nothing. So it's just been dry. I mean, for the whole month, it's been dry. For the whole December so far, dry. So what can I do about it? But uh, I'm still actively trying to collect. Uh, it was funny, I went to this one Goodwill, and the, I was about to leave because they had none of the games, none of the cartridge space games in the back that they usually do in a little basket, and there was the lady with a little cart. Well, she stepped away from her little cart, placing the items, you know, in their places, and I looked in, and to my surprise, there were some cartridge based games in there. There was uh, two NES and one Super NES. The two NES was a, what's that game, Xavius or something? It's a shooter, you know shooter game, space shooter, and the other one was the Super Mario Brothers, which I have to death and back. And then uh, the Super NES one was uh, Tetris Attack. So I was looking it over, but it had a really torn lab label. And she came up to me and said, I'm sorry, sir, you cannot buy any of these from the car. And I said, okay. So I put them back down, put them back in her little cart. And then she uh, said to me, but do you want to buy some? Why would you ask that? Why does that make any sense? If you just told me I can't buy them from your cart, they're already priced, mind you, then why would you ask me if I wanted to buy any? It just She seems like she wanted to play some games or something, and I just said, no, and I left. Uh, I really don't need a Tetris Attack with a torn label for 212. I don't know, just that my thing. Uh, maybe if the label wasn't torn. I haven't really ever played the game, so, you know, I would do that for Donkey Kong Country, and I have done it. But for Tetris Attack, an unknown game, no, I'm not going to do it. But uh, thanks for being such a bitch. I mean, I understand it. Is that how you get your power? Ooh, almighty goodwill worker. You can tell me what I can buy and what I can't buy? Well, that's great, honey. You, you keep hoarding that power. <laughs> Maybe it'll mean something to somebody, but... I'm not going to quiver at your every move and say, Please, lady, let me buy your torn Tetris attack. Oh, I want to eat the torn label Tetris attack or my life is over. The past has gone. The future will come. The most important part is the present. It is a gift. That's why they call it present. in the room getting your hands wrapped up tight you are ready for this big ass fight you feel much lighter mm -hmm. are you ready to be the ultimate fighter it's funny at work this lady was walking through these doors and after after she walked through the doors the doors were closing it was like it looked like a jedi mind trick or something it's just awesome and what happened is she has a pacemaker now and these doors are uh, hooked up with uh, magnets up there where they just connect enough to where they stay open and she was going by, disrupting the current in the magnets, and they were closing behind her. It just, it just so badass. All right, it's kind of old news, but for Black Friday, I went to seven, count them, seven big lots in search of the great, the great, you know, UFC DVDs. And uh, out of the seven, only one had them. So, I mean, I know a lot of people have reported the same, similar stories and say, well, they're scarce, Cody, you know, I can't find them, blah, blah, blah. Well, I mean, it's scarce, too, here, even though I found I found two big lots and uh, I say the nine total I've gone through, I went through seven that one day, but nine total I've been to uh, since it's happened. And uh, it's it, it, you got to keep on looking. And really, I, I went to the ones that usually had them and I don't see them at all, so... They may be out, already out of stock. It may have just came and went. I want to correct, congratulate myself for having my all-time biggest crowd at my Wednesday show on Blog TV. 50 viewers. That's pretty good. It peaked out at 50 viewers. Then it went downhill after that. But that, that's pretty good. I, I was happy with that, you know. Uh, before that, my most was like 26 or something. So that's double. And we had, uh, we had, we had, uh, Pez... Oh, Mr. Elmo Pez guy, 64, whatever his name is, he uh, beat my Ovaltine record of drinking Ovaltine. And uh, I think I'm going to have to try to reclaim that soon. 
I may be on block TV. I may try to, I may have to, you know, put the law down and take it back. And also, I have that footage on my block TV uh, channel. I recorded that because that's groundbreaking. And in other news, Meredith Baxter is gay. And also, she has bad manners. Well, what can we say? Some girls like it sloppy. <laughs> I don't know, I just had to use that clip, so I had to work it in there somehow. Breaking news with Meredith Baxter doesn't come out every day, so I jumped at the opportunity to use that clip. I did. I did. Lifetime. You gotta love Lifetime. Not because it's good, it's because it's so bad, it becomes entertaining to watch. I thought I'd close. I still have a lot of this footage I taped of me opening a Planet Beer Wagon's present to me. Some of the toys he included. So we'll close with that, alright? I'll talk to you next week. Also, I'll probably do predictions tomorrow, so look forward to those. Huh? Yeah. Robocop. Oh, I, I got a figure of this guy from McDonald's. That dude. The, the dark Superman. I think that's after he dies or something. I never got into that, but I heard it was great. A skeleton doll. Yeah. There he is, He-Man. Kind of new. Oh, he's got some cool toys. I think this is like the Star Trek character. Uh, Captain Kirk. But like made in like a weird... To a weird figurine. It's kind of—he's kind of sexy. I mean, I'll admit that. I'll admit that. Oh. Oh man, he, he must have like crazy. There's some more of those He-Man series. Sexy girl. Oh, there's Skeletor. Skeletor looks badass here. I'll get you, He-Man. And your little dog, too! <laughs> he man? Where'd you go, He man? I thought we were going on a double date! You'll rue the day you leave me, paid for your pasta parmesan! Um. I don't know what He man character that is, but it's quite. It's quite. <laughs> He's quite the lady pleaser. Moving along. This little guy with the K. He looks like, I don't know. I don't know what that is. What the hell is that, Planet Beer Wagon? Enlighten me, man. Drop some knowledge. Oh, this is neat. This is like a glow in the dark, kind of purplish guy. Here's some more of that muscle. Oh, man, that's awesome. I love the muscle series. Oh, man, muscle. There's a tiger bot without a head. You're crazy. Let's clear some of this. Oh man, that's what you gave me, man. More stuff to love. I'm like a hoarder here already. He's just feeding my obsession. He man, I think. Pretty badass. I like this. Like a Bigfoot doll toy. Mm. <laughs> it looks kind of like me in the morning. Harry's and the Henderson. It looks kind of like him, but I mean, more cartoonish. It might have been a cartoon, though. Yeah, who knows? Thinking they're a He-Man? Oh, yeah. I think. I'm not positive. I'm, it looks like the same, yeah, same stuff. That series. I don't know how to make you look 
Look at the shelf, boy. Oh, is it the hyena from Lion King? It says CC. It says nuts no, from DC Comics. Huh? It's a hyena. You could have a lion. Laughing. Not laughing. He looks dead serious. <laughs>